Look, he's a dictator. U.S. President Joe Biden's description of China, Xi, though he did add in the same breath, anyway, we made progress. The talks, though, are seen to have been positive and constructive, though the White House made it clear America wouldn't bend over its core concerns. Significantly, President Biden emphasized that the U.S. and China were in competition. The U.S. would continue to align with partners and allies around the world. That alignment clearly includes countries such as India, with whom the U.S. has an incredibly close strategic relationship. At a time when China has been building military bases in the Indian Ocean region and holding military exercises with Pakistan. In fact, Beijing and Islamabad are in the midst of their largest ever naval exercises. These images show Chinese warships docked in Karachi earlier this week. Beijing is also selling military equipment to countries surrounding India, Bangladesh, Myanmar and Pakistan. But the larger message from the White House is clear. The world expects the United States to manage competition responsibly in order to prevent the relationship from veering into conflict, confrontation or a new Cold War. Any potential conflict in the Pacific region could be linked to China's tensions with Taiwan. China sees Taiwan as its territory as Taipei asserts its democratic rights. America is clear in this. The world has an interest in peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. Another area of potential conflict, the South China Sea, where China has built artificial islands on reefs on territory it claims as its own, a fact disputed by many regional players. In its statement, the White House has emphasized its enduring commitment to freedom of navigation and overflight in the South China Sea, a position echoed by New Delhi. To ensure that militarily things don't get out of hand, there will now be a resumption of high-level military to military communication, which includes the resumption of telephone conversations between theater commanders. Significantly, there has been forward movement on combating illicit drug manufacturing at a time when the United States faces an epidemic of addiction and death linked to the growing availability of fentanyl, a potent synthetic opioid which U.S. authorities believe may be coming from Chinese companies against whom criminal charges have been filed. Both sides will also discuss the risks of artificial intelligence. Vishnu Shom for NDTV.